I'm going to make a terrible transition over to someone else who had a great day today. I think I have to say, because the game just finished as we started recording, the Toronto Blue Jays beat New York Yankees 2-0, and Alec Manoa, who I mentioned a couple weeks ago, sixth scoreless innings against the New York Yankees in his major league debut after only throwing 30 minor league innings. Unbelievable. Uh, seven strikeouts, two walks, two hits in those six innings. Just completely dominant. Unbelievable that he just translated the dominance from the AAA up to the big leagues. He was getting guys out like D- G- DJ LeMahieu uh, and Aaron Judge, making them look silly with some of his stuff. Great movement on the fastball slider. He was getting um, out in front of a little bit and it was hanging, but it was working because it's such an electric slider. And he threw a ton of changeups today. Um, his third pitch in his arsenal that he's been working on. And he, I guess, because he knew tri- the big league hitters hadn't seen it yet, he was pulling out a lot more frequently and it was really successful for him. So shout out Alec Manoa, man. What an awesome start. And his mom was vibing big time throughout the whole start. She had great energy. It was cool to see that as well. So has he played one game or two games now? This was his first ever start. Okay, wow. In, in, the, in the major leagues. Yeah, I feel like it wasn't even two weeks ago you were saying, hey, well, maybe a month ago you were saying, hey, this guy's like doing great. He's going to be sick someday in a couple of years. And a week, two weeks ago, you were saying, hey, we might see this guy by the end of the season. But this came a lot faster than my expectations based off your reports. Uh, yeah, it, on- it's, a per- it's a perfect storm, right? And in baseball, generally, the, the, the development timeline is longer. And it takes guys longer to prove themselves and get called up. But it was a perfect storm for him. The Jays lose another reliever. David Phelps done for the season. Um, Just pitching is a little bit shallow. And he's been carving it up on a hot streak. So why not give him a go? Uh, We've seen it more and more. Younger players are getting more opportunities earlier with big league teams. Um, And yeah, he he had a great start today. And hopefully... Uh, can keep it going. I, again, no expectation for him, but he set a pretty great standard as his first first career to start. And because of the weather yesterday, the Jays will be playing again shortly. It's a it's a doubleheader today. But yeah, and, awesome uh, for Alec. You know, his first strikeout too was against uh, Rodney Odor, who is the uh, vilified Texas Rangers player from the the heyday mid two thousands of the Blue Jays. The guy who punched Bautista. So uh, all my homies hate Odor, and thank God Manoa struck him out. It was lovely. Let's go. And he's not the only Blue Jay having a hell of a season right now, eh? Vladdy Guerrero Jr., who did not have a hit today, I don't believe. Uh, He leads the majors in home runs as of Tuesday. Uh, Just caught a heater. He had three home runs in two games. He's at 16 on the season now. And he leads the majors in a variety of uh, advanced hitting statistics, so like your, your wins above replacement, your uh, slugging percentage, on-base plus slugging, uh, different things like that. And it was two years ago, he was out of shape, not ready. And then last year was disappointing because he had gotten in shape and then fell out of shape through the pandemic and again had a disappointing season. This year he comes in in shape. There's still some doubters. And at 22 years of age, already his third taste of the majors and now he's one of the best hitters in the league and this was what everyone had projected for him but it's so great to finally see him living up to that and I'm so excited he's gonna have such a long and awesome offensive career I guess another guy part of that trend you're describing then as entering the MLB relatively quickly yes yes and and a little bit different situation for Vladdy because he's coming out of uh the Dominican I believe and, and that's a little bit different in where those guys come from. Like he got signed at 16 and then he got his shot at 19. Whereas Manoa came through college and generally the contracts have a little bit longer leeway for him, but he, he accelerated it and was ready to rock and roll. And um, yeah, he awesome today. Really great stuff from the Blue Jays. 